Well, hello, 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 everybody. The name is Falconizer, and welcome back to Elmo Village on Drills in the Sky. <laughs> Why I always say the place first? <laughs> but whatever. So, yeah, we finally arrived at this place, so hopefully we can try the spa because Tita's already fixed it. Hopefully. I don't know. Let's try to talk to you. I heard this big spring over on the other side of the mountain. I'm gonna go see what they said. I'm not allowed. Yeah, it's probably adult only. But let's see. Okay. What is it, Tita? Are you done with the repairs? Oh, hi guys. <laughs> yeah, I just finished. I just have to make sure that the hot water's going where it's supposed to. It's okay. The well in the plaza has hot water. So, what was the problem? Well, the pump itself wasn't an issue. The crankshaft on the impeller had corroded and broken. I switched it out with a rush resistant one, so everything should be fine now. Cool, nice work. Shall we return to the inn and let the hostess know? Okay. Alright, good. Good work, Tita. Okay, let's head to the inn. Talk to ya. Thank you, Tita. The pump's pumping like it was just installed yesterday. Hehe, <laughs> really? Let's think nothing of it. <clears throat> well, haven't you grown into such a well-mannered young lady? And thank you too for helping us out with that guest as well. You guys know everyone, it seems. <laughs> I guess we do. What happened? A little bit of business. You two have my thanks. As a way to pay you back, I'd like you to stay here free. No way! Really? Ma'am? We didn't tell my grandfather we were going to stay here. Nonsense! I heard from Russell a little earlier. He said the job would take him until tomorrow to finish, and he asked if you could stay here. Grandpa said that? What a sweet old guy. Well, if he said that, then I'm afraid we have no choice but to impose for the night. Come right in. You can put your things in the yuzu room on the second floor. Uh, it'll be some time before dinner, so go take a dip in the hot springs. Oh yeah, finally! You want us to take a bath before dinner? I thought people took their baths before they went to sleep. What are you talking about? This is a hot springs resort. People expect you to jump in the bath in the morning at lunch, whenever. I'd be okay with three baths a day here. R really? Well, I like baths as much as anybody, but it sounds a little bit much for me. <laughs> well, we, shall we go put our bags in our room then? Alright, second floor it is. Uh, no, this is for two people, so probably this. Alright. Wow, nice room. Indeed. Mrs. Ma told me that she was born of the East. She moved to Liberal with her family when she was little. The village has a lot of people from the same area. I thought this village has ki a kind of unusual vibe. I bet the food here must be really good. Yeah, but before that, why don't we check out the spa we've been hearing about? Hey, yeah! Did you want to join us, Tita? Uh, okay. We can go after we put away our luggage. Nice. Okay, the luggage is secure. So, where's the spa now? Oh, there's a separate bath behind the building. It's a big open air bath. You mean it's basically outside then? Ooh, that sounds neat. Let's go. Alright. Let's go see this spa you've been talking about, you know. Whew. That is fancy. There's a store there as well. Wow, it's already dark. Look at the Eastern style garden. Very nice. Oh, Esther Joshua, hi! Dorothy? Did you come here to soak in this heavenly water stew? I just love it here. It's so spacious and comfortable. I just wish staying in the hot water didn't make me dizzy after a while. Have you been in here this whole time? Oh yeah, it just feels so good! And who are you, little girl? I don't think we've met before. I'm Tita. It's nice to meet you. Tita, huh? You can call me Dorothy. I'm a photographer for a magazine in Grenzel. Really? Wow, that must be a great job. Hehe, <laughs> it's it is pretty awesome. Alright, Esther. You guys are staying at the inn, right? Why don't we have dinner together? 
Sure, sounds okay. Would you mind waiting for us? Sure, I'll have some fruity milk in the meantime. I'll see you guys soon. Alright. That's cool. That's cool. You know, that's cool. Let's see. Let's see. I need to search around for a second because there's a side quest. Let's need to be done. Uh, there we go. If I can rub an old paper. Arabe would pack it. There you go. That's what we need. That's what I need, actually. So... I guess that's pretty much it. There's nothing else. Aight. Aight. Let's see. Mm. Uh, this is it, I guess. Let's see. This is the door to the baths, right? Uh, Estelle, this is the men's bath. We have to go to the women's bath. Oh. Okay, they're separated. <laughs> How silly of me. I need to change my clothes. <clears throat> I believe this is a goodbye for now. Okay, see you later. Excuse us. Oh, yeah. <sighs> that feels so good. Way better than I ever, I ever thought it would. I'm not like Dorothy, but I could see getting seriously addicted to this. <laughs> I already am. When I was little, Grandpa used to always bring me here. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, where does the door go? Oh, that leads to the open air bath I was talking about before. It's huge. But I'll bet I could, it could fit ten people at once. Wow, cool. Ooh, I feel like I could deserve in this. All this ruffling has worn me out. Well, definitely. You walk all around the continent. Have you been doing all your traveling on foot? Why not take an airship? Mm, for training, I guess. My dad always said it was super important. You mean Mr. Cassius? Yeah. Shira was another student of my dad's. He told her all the time that she should travel by foot. You should... See the places you should protect with your own eyes, or some such. Wow, cool! Yeah, he was big on impressive speeches, but he knew how to back them up when he had to. <sighs> I wonder where he is now. Estelle. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to get all gloomy on you. I'm in training too, and it's not like worrying will do me any good. I guess all I can do is have faith in him. Faith. Something wrong? No. No, I'm okay. Oh yeah, that's something I wanted to ask you. Something? Okay, dish. You can ask me anything. Um, <laughs> well, are you and Joshua married? Oh, <laughs> that question. That question though, is so adorable. <laughs> uh, sorry, I must have spaced out. What about me and Joshua? I was wondering if you and Joshua were married. What? 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 Why would you ask that? Uh, why would you ask a thing like that? But, but you have the same last name. You don't look like each other at all, so I didn't think you were siblings. We don't look alike because we are not blood related. Our names are the same because Joshua was adopted. Oh, okay. Hehe, <laughs> sorry, I had it all wrong. But boy, did you ever. Besides, he and I are both only 16. Marriage is a subject for way off in the future. R right. I guess you wouldn't get married so young, no matter how much you love each other, huh? Uh, I'm telling you, Joshua and I are not boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> We're just family. R really? What do you mean, really? Uh, sweetie, do you get that kind of vibe from watching us or something? What kind of vibe? Uh, like we're together, as in together, together, like lovey dovey, hot, cannot keep our hands off each other together. <laughs> oh, well, no, but, but, but you're always with each other and you're comfortable with each other and you almost finish each other's sentences. 
Well, I cannot argue with that, but don't you think that could just as easily be how family and close friends act? And anyway, even if we ever did feel like that toward each other... Mm. <laughs> no! Bad thoughts! Bad thoughts! <laughs> and why am I getting so embarrassed by these questions? I always handled them fine before. I mean, it's part of your grown, grown, grown up, you know? <laughs> it's part of your grown up. You, you just get have that feeling, you know? <laughs> Estelle, your face is all red. Ah, it's nothing. No reason at all. I. I mean, it's because the hot water is so effective. Yeah, that's totally true. It just gets the blood going and staying in too long can make you dizzy. Oh, okay. Well, wasn't there an upper end bath here? I suddenly want to try it out. Let's go. Right. By the way, Estelle, the open air bath is uh, unisex. <laughs> I knew it. And she met Joshua, probably. <sighs> okay, settle down, Tart. I hear you. What the hell was that all about? I've never even thought about Joshua like that before. Ah, <laughs> stop it, Estelle. This isn't like you. This is fancy. Oh, with that. Ah, this feels great. Oh, that the bath is open to the outside. Mmm, and it's big enough to stretch out and really relax and. You do know what you're you do know that you're not meant to go swimming though. You see me doing the butterfly stroke, buddy. Huh? Yep! <laughs> I knew it. Hi Esta, I got in a little while before you. <laughs> it's kind of awkward to be around you like this. But, but hey, but, but the hot spring works even better than I expected. It's good for injuries and it really helps work out any muscle stiffness. That is true. Just the right idea for a bracer, really. Uh, I... You stay silent like that is making this a bit awkward, you know? Uh, I, uh... He <laughs> just flipped out, he just... <laughs> oh boy. That drink startled me so badly that I almost flew through the ceiling. I almost suffered through a heart attack and all for what? A false alarm? I'm... I'm sorry. Listen, the open air path is unisex. Is there not a sign clearly saying that in the dressing room? Um... I think what she's trying to say is that she didn't notice it. First of all, getting caught starker once or twice isn't such a big deal that you need to go screaming your lungs out. And I've heard it said a woman's skins get prettier when you show it off. R really? Bunch of crap. <laughs> I wasn't out to show off anything for anyone. Well, whatever then. Why not make up and just try to enjoy the baths? This place was intended for family members to be able to bath together from the get-go. Now I'm off. Oh, <laughs> so good. <sighs> and suddenly, I'm exhausted. <sighs> Joshua, this is all your fault. How do you feel good that? I mean, it wasn't me who shrieked like a banshee. Nor did I flake out and completely miss the sign in the dressing room. Y you shut up. You think you're so cute. Well, you're not. <laughs> oh, is that how it is? Well, fine. It's not as if it mean means anything to me whether or not you think I'm cute. What did you say? I'm making a point, looking at me and screaming like the way you did. I never would have even dreamed that you'd react like that. Uh, well, I just wasn't... It was bad timing, okay? I didn't mean that I'm disgusted at the thought of being in there with you or anything. No, no, I wouldn't want you to put yourself out. I'll just be on my way, so you two can be alone. Put myself out? I can't believe you sometimes, you jerk. <laughs> hey, look who's talking. Giggle. K hey, don't you dare laugh, Tita. I still don't get why I'm the jerk, but whatever. I I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to embarrass you. It's okay, I'm sorry for laughing. I just, well, I'm a little envious. Uh, envious of what? Why? I don't have any siblings, so I don't have anyone to fight with or make up with. Yeah, that is... 
that is a sad truth, you know, for being the single child or the only child of your family. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just that, you know. Grandpa's always nice and never mean to me. Mostly because my mom and dad couldn't be there. Huh? You don't mean to say that they are? They have been out of the country working as orbital engineers for a long time. I guess they are somewhere that orbital technology hasn't really hit yet. I'm not even sure how many years it's been since they last came to Zeiss. Zeiss. I had no idea. You must have been lonely. Not really. I'm my grandpa at least. And everyone at the central factory is always super nice to me. I mean, you are so cute and you're so adorable. And <laughs> Everybody should be nice to you, Dita. But I still get a little jealous when I look at you too. <laughs> I'm probably just wishing for something that... I'll never have Dita. I've got an idea. Huh? From now on, I'll be your big sister. Oh yeah. And Joshua can be your big brother. What? <sighs> Always with the grand sweeping gestures. Oh come on. Are you seriously complaining? <laughs> no, I feel the same way you do. I have no objections as long as Dita is okay with the idea. Th thank you, both of you. I don't know what to say. I can't stop smiling. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, well, that settles it then. Treat us just like you would a normal brother and sister. I give you permission to make fun of Joshua as much as you like. <laughs> really? <laughs> Out of all things. That's right. I still is fair game to make fun of, too, in that case. You can talk to us just like when you talk to the professor. Like family. But, but is that really okay? I... I'll try, I promise. Okay? Okay. So this is a new beginning for all of us. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh man, Dorothy. Man, they're so late. Uh, I drank too much fruity milk. Now my stomach's all messed up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> After getting out of the spa, Esther and company tried to soothe Dorothy's annoyance with some of the inn's fine eastern cuisine. This was followed by an enjoyable game of cards, after which they returned up to the spa. And so the evening wore uncomfortably. Nice. Get some family moment, you know. Get bonding time. <laughs> okay, Mr. Smile. We really appreciate everything. <laughs> I'm just glad you were able to relax a little. And Tita, you certainly seem to have enjoyed yourself. Hehe, <laughs> isn't that obvious? You all seem closer than you were yesterday. Must be the magic of the springs. By the way, what happened to that girl with the glasses? Hmm, I think she's still in the bed. We called for her, but she didn't answer, and we didn't want to barge in. When Dorothy does wake up, please give her our regards. Certainly. Tita, I'd like for you to tell the Russell something for me when you see him next. Tell him that I said he needs to focus on the rest of his life, beyond all the 24-7 research. <sighs> okay, I will. Take care of yourself, Mrs. Mao, and you need to come visit too. Sure thing, Han. You're all welcome back here anytime. The bathrooms are always fading. You can count on it. We will definitely go back, obviously. <laughs> Absolutely. The food was great too. I that's cool. So I guess this is it. Ah, I feel rejuvenated. And we never would have come at all if the pump had not been had not needed repairing. So I guess we owe our thanks to you, Tita. But I I didn't do anything. I should be thanking you for everything yesterday. It was really fun. Hee <laughs> glad to hear it. I guess that means we're even. Yep, I guess it does. Shall we return to Zeiss then? The professor might be done with taking apart a black orphan by now. Oh yeah, we still we do still have that to deal with. I completely forgot it. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I let's see. Let's see. Is a souvenir? I think already. I've been there. Oh, wait. Okay. Hi, Dorothy. Finally decided to rejoin the world of the living. <sighs> uh, no fair, you guys. How come I got left behind? Huh? Didn't you say that you were sticking around to get some more shots at for a story? Oh, did I? Whatever, I just said being left out. <laughs> Don't you, little tea. 
Uh, are you talking to me? Where did that come from? I just wanted to give you a nickname. You don't like it? No, it's alright. Awesome! Thanks, little T. Uh, you really are lost in your own little world. Oh well, you can come back with us to Zeiss if you want. Hehe, <laughs> now you're talking. Okay then, want to give this whole living thing another shot? Alright, that's good for me. So let's go to the Zeiss then. Oh, ah, very good. Who that? Huh. Hello, ladies. I was just wondering if you, if I could ask. Huh? Whoa, he's huge. It's a b -b 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 <laughs> bear. Um. Okay. You don't need to worry about me. All I want are some directions. You wouldn't happen to know where Elmo's hot springs are, would you? Oh. Well, we just came from there, actually. It's just on the road south from there, from here. Ah, I see. Thanks for the information. Oh, you. Huh? Hmm. Could it be? Is it possible? Is what possible now? Oh, sorry. It's nothing important. Take care. Probably he knows about Cassius. <laughs> uh, wow. Man of few words. His clothes looked eastern, so I figured he must be foreign. Well, Zeiss is right on the border with the Balfour Republic. He might have come from there. I bet you're right. Mrs. Ma told me about people who live way off in the east. Oh, right. I think Kilika is from there, from the east too. And he was so huge! I was super surprised. <laughs> I guess he does kind of look like a bear. But he doesn't act like any bear I've ever seen. It looks like he studies martial arts. How can you tell? Well, I'm a martial artist too. He wasn't just big. He looked like he trained his body like crazy. Indeed, and his legs were like tree trunks. He might be a master just like Estelle's read about. Okay. That's, that's weird. Well, it probably is a... It's a... Another playable character soon, I guess. Well, we'll just need to find out. Because we're still very early on this chapter anyway, so there's still a lot, a lot of plot to reveal. Okay. Huh? What's the matter? Maybe I'm just losing it, but I thought I heard something. You're not losing it. At least not because of that. I had something too, but far off. From the, right, from the direction of the factory. What? Oh no. What do you mean? I don't know. We'll just have to go and see. I mean, I can he I can hear some uh, nice swaying music like so, you know. Uh, but I need to. There we go. Nice dot glass. There we go. Good, 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 good. So I still have one more quest actually. Uh, where's the? There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, what did I report? What, what did I report, actually? Oh well, whatever. We found the stuff already, so... Uh. Huh? What's happening? I think it's because the Black Orkman again? Probably. <laughs> I thought I was a gunner. Well, you're all right. That's what important. Okay, that's every section, right? It's all the full timers, at least. Chief. Ah, oh, it's you. Back from Elmo. What's with all the commotion? There was some kind of gas leak inside the building. Everything from the fifth floor down is full of fumes. Don't tell us there was a fire. I doubt it, since the extinguishers have haven't been set off. That doesn't mean I've been able to figure out why this is happening, though. Uh, excuse me, Chief. Where's my grandpa? Ah, uh, that's right. Miss Ezel, is everyone accounted for? W well we're fully stopped today, but Professor Russell isn't among those evacuated. <laughs> what? You mean you're still in there? Let us handle this, sir. We'll figure this out. Th thank you. I I'm going to... What? Tita? I know a lot about the Central Factory. I can show them the way. Tita, 
Okay, come with us then. Stay close. But if it gets too dangerous, you have to come back here, alright? Oh, okay. Um, would it be okay if I came with... Uh, no! <laughs> no, just no. Just stay there. <laughs> stay, stay, stay there. No. Sorry, but we need you to stay back. Gee, thanks for talking. Taking the time to think about it. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? Just be careful, okay? If the professor is there, he's probably in the third floor workshop. I check there first. Got it. We'll be off then. I need to find some... Uh, some people first. I need to do this quest. Ah, oh, my news. So easy. Uh, where's the people? You? No, you Hugo. No. No. Ah, probably we need to finish this first. Ugh, so much smoke. Huh? Not so bad that you cannot breathe, though. These days, it's probably a smoke screen for something else, I think. There must be a smoke canister nearby. Huh? But why would something like that even... I cannot speculate on why. But if we can put out that canister, the smoke should clear up quickly enough. Got it. Find it and put it out. Professor Russell is in the th third floor workshop, right? Y yes, at least I think so. Well, Grandpa sometimes gets so wrapped up in his research that he loses sight of what's going on around him. Well, let's get to the third floor. Alright, so we should go to the third floor right away. Oh, there we go. Hey, Joshua, that's a... Looks like a smoke canister. Like that one on the sky bandits used before. Joshua quickly dismantled the smoke canister. Whoa, the smoke's cleared up. Wow, that was cool. There are probably more canisters like this around. Let's find them and I'll take them apart. Okay, so that's our quest first. Let's find all the smoke canister, yeah? Obviously, we cannot use the elevator. Huh? The automatic door is an opening. Did the orbital power shut off? No, it looks like the... Like, it looks like it's operational. Someone's probably using the elevator. Could that someone possibly be Professor Russell? Let's hope not, since it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Either way, the only way we're getting upstairs is via that emergency stairway. Yeah, you're right. Manual it is, then. Let's go down first. Let's see. Anything? Anything? No? Okay. Let's go for this side. Still locked. I'm curious what's behind that door. Uh, oh, there we go. There's another one. Joshua quickly dismantled the smoke canister. Hmm. So, is it really of the Sky Bandit? I kind of doubt it, though. Oops, is he way out? Okay. Just checking, just checking. Sky Bandit, huh? If they're really who did this, then all oh, is on! All oh, is on! <laughs> it's on! Like a James Bond! Alright, let's go up. Second floor. The Obvious. Uh, nothing. Archives. Oh, it's a book. Yeah. No. Got no time for that. There we go. Another smoke canister. Another smoke canister. Cool. So now... I think we should go to the fourth floor first. And skip the third floor first. And just going upstairs first. And... Keep... Dismantling all this... Smoke screen up. Oh, it's right here. We close metal smoke canister. Good. Good, 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 good. So, oh, next. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Nothing else. So let's go to the fifth floor. And lastly. Eh, no. Fifth and then the roof top. After that, we can go to the third floor. Operations, uh, nothing. 
Okay, so for here. There's nothing as well. Alright. Wait. Where's there's no canister? But there's still but there's still smoke in here. Or did I miss it? No, because there's nothing. Huh. Alright. Well, I don't know. Let's just go see. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. Okay. So, did I still miss something? Well, I haven't searched the third floor yet, so... Let's see. That's the workshop, so let's skip that for now. The side room. There we go. It's metal smoke canister. That should be it. Right? So let's see. Hold on. Let me check the staircases first. Okay, it's all clear now. So let's see the fifth. If it's if it is clear as well, then. Alright, good. Everything is clear now. Now let's check on Professor Russell. Russell, Russell, Russell. Ah, oh, so loud! <laughs> Grandpa, we got a big. Uh. There's no one here. So why is the machine still on? We we should turn it off. Phew. Where could Grandpa have gone? It's not just him. The Black Orman is gone too. You don't suppose? Heh, <laughs> so here you are. I get... I get... What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. I heard about the disturbance here, so I came to check it out. Lo and behold, you got here before me. Will warners never cease? You incompetents keep sticking your noses where you, they don't belong. Someone's gonna come and cut them off. Ugh, are you ever, ever not a jerk? Um, I guess you know him? His name is Aiket. He's a senior bracer. Hey, hold on a second. What's a kid doing here? Aiket glared at Tita. Eep. Hey, she doesn't done anything, so lay off. Bah. So damn much, I could say, but I'll hold off for now. So what the hell's going on? Here's the situation. Joshua explained to Agat how Professor Russell had gone missing. Some canisters, huh? Suddenly explained the stench around here. We ain't got time to waste though. We gotta find the professor and fast. Right. <gasps> uh, burp. Acknowledge. Grandpa. So? What should we do? Still nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a moment. There you go. Uh, that's metal. Yeah, that's good. Grab shoes. Okay, good. So I just need to put some more work helmet. There you go. More defense for you. And then your Orpman. Still, the slot needs to be opened up. Hmm. Well, I can just put something for you. No, I don't need that. Mm, action is kind of nice, actually. Hit formation. Wow, you already have a high, pretty high dexterity, aren't you? Seventeen? No, it's not normal, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so let's just put some. Uh, I guess I don't know. I guess action, so he can get some more action. So yeah, let's let's deal with the uh, orphan stuff later on, because we need to unlock his quartz, the last two slots anyway. So, oops, this way. Well, I can go back. Hmm.
know where we should be gone. I don't know. Still nope. Is it really here? Huh. Or maybe on the rooftop. I don't know. <laughs> I could have confused. Because there's no clear clue on where we should go, so let's just see. Let's go to the top floor. Hopefully that's the answer. Let's start. Well, let's. I guess it's time for us to check every single floor. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, what's that door doing open? Sorry about the wait. I've secured the last objective. All right, let's get out of here then. Are you all set? That voice. Come on, it came from. Come on, it came from the elevator. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. It's them. Grandpa, what? Uh, I get crossed. Oh crap! Go go go! H hold it right there. Get back here. Shh! So close. We almost had them. N no. Why did they take Grandpa? Let's take the emergency stairs down. It looks like they're trying to get out of the factory. Yeah. If they get away, there's no way to know if they'll take the tunnel or just try to lose us in town. Move your ashes, kids. You don't have to yell to tell me twice. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Wait, it's open. So, let's see. <laughs> uh, nothing. Okay. Let's go, let's go. So, we need to go down. So, probably let's try the first floor first. Look, it's open! So they did come down here, which means they probably left through the main entrance. But with all those people out there, how do you intend to get away unseen? We'll worry about that later. Come on, we've gotta catch up to them. I. Hey, they're back! Good, you're alright. When the soldiers showed up, I thought something serious had happened. Soldiers? Hold on a second, soldiers? Not guys dressed in black? No idea what you mean. They were dressed in blue and white military uniforms, polite enough, but I got a feeling they didn't come from the Airlight and Checkpoint. They definitely seem like royal guardsmen to me. I thought they looked so cool that I snapped off a picture. Oh, that's nice, actually. Royal guardsmen? Huh. The one who took away Meyer Dalmor. But why would they be here? Um, they weren't with my grandpa, were they? With the professor? No, they did have some really big baggage with them, though. <laughs> wow, it had to be them, no doubt about it. If they exchanged into military uniforms in the elevator, damn it, it's the old trick in the book, but they pulled it off. Wait, wait just a minute, what's all this supposed to mean? We'll have to fill you in later, which way did these soldiers go? Th towards town, they moved like they had a purpose. We're going after them. No way I'm letting them get away. Okay. And so, Aston and company split up to search the streets of Zeiss. But in the end, they could find no trace of the man who had taken the professor. The incident was reported to the Royal Army, and a unit was sent to Zeiss and from the stronghold at the lake to aid in the investigation. Whew! I understand the particulars. Nevertheless, this is major. This would appear to be a clear cut case of terrorism. In Ida's name, terrorism? Using smoke canisters to create a diversion while abducting the kingdom's greatest mind. To say nothing of the theft of the herbal calculator, which contains some of our country's most cutting edge technology. This deed will not go unpunished. So, what kind of plan does the military have, its, have, have up its sleeve? We already have Air Leighton, the Wolford, Soldat Army Road, and Sankt Haim Gate performing inspections. There's no way that the culprits are getting out of the size region. Wow, you really mean business. <laughs> well, Intel's job is to help us mobilize as quickly and efficiently as possible in times of emergency. 
I do have one question. What do you think about the terrorists having masquerade, masquerated as <laughs> royal guardsmen? Yes, it's very unsettling. Having said that, Mr. Hyatt? What? Who? Me? You took photos of the criminals making their escape, did you not? We would greatly appreciate it if you give us that photo quartz to be processed as evidence. What? But, but, it's my big scoop! The Royal Guardsmen are the pride of the Liberals' military. A photo of their involvement in such an incident is a very serious and sensitive matter. I also must ask that you not post any news about this until we know more. This is in order to protect the honor of Her Majesty the Queen. This isn't a formal request, but the entirety of the Royal Army Art Forces would greatly appreciate it. <sighs> Fine, I guess. Once you figure, it, figure out what you need to know, you'll give it back, right? Dorothy reluctantly handed over the photo quartz exposure to Captain Almatultia. Thank you for your cooperating. I had to ask this, but it would also be appreciated if the prisoners would cease their emphasis. It happening. I've been chasing those guys in black since way before any of this started. Military or not, or military, military or honor or not, I got a reason to stop now. <sighs> you have a choice. Please proceed with your investigation. That said, this is with the condition that you report your findings back to intelligence at Fort Layston. Fine with me. And if you learn anything new, you report it to the Zeiss branch, okay? Very well. And with that, I must take my leave. Okay. Phew! That was a little intense. She's Colonel Richard's right hand man, or woman. <laughs> yes, it looked like she came here as the Colonel's direct representative in the investigation. <laughs> well, I'm just fine with not rubbing elbows with the military. Anyway, it looks like the culprits are hiding out somewhere in the Zeiss. The sooner we report him at the guild, the sooner we can start searching outside of town. Yeah. Wait a second, how come you're not telling us not to follow you this time? Because I can use you. Why else would I want you along? You're a real, real peach, you know that. No big deal though, it's just more training for us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, just stay alert. We're gonna go now, Chief. Alright, take care. Do what you have to in order to save the Professor. It's okay, Tita, it's okay. We're gonna get the Professor back, don't you worry. Don't you worry, but first thing first. Um, I get the book, but oh, where's the <laughs> where's the people? Where's the people? <laughs> okay, uh, fourth floor. Mm, not the clinic. It's this one. Yeah. Report test results. And the report Terry, we're gonna in hurry so we have to make this fast. Oh, alright, I mean, take a look at the shoes then. There's some sweet shoes. Impressive, the source are extremely worn down. It looks like I selected poor materials in its making. Yes, I'd call the test a huge success. Oh, yeah, thank goodness. So, does that mean the job's done? Yes, and I appreciate it. You've done me a great favor. Oh, hold on a moment. Were you a big fan of the Strega brand? I'd like for you to have this then. Beta Strega. Oh. Uh, are this what I think they are? A, ref a reference copy of a new product line. We already passed this phase of development, so I don't need them anymore. Wow, thank you. I'll be looking forward to the next line of products. I'll be sure to pass that on to my employers. Take care in your journeys. Thank you. See you later. Nice. We got some s nice sweet cakes, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ooh, this is way better. Nice. Grab shoes, grab shoes. Alright, that's good. So this, what's this? Oh, there we go. Mud spring. Where's this and Pacey? Like seriously, I just need to find her so I can finish that quest. But whatever. There's no time limit anyway, so I guess that's fine. This is a doctor, I think. No. Oh, right. I have to buy some more photo quartz. Excuse me. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh, I didn't do anything. I was just supposed to check up on some information for the editors. 
Well, try and cheer up, okay, Tita? Ah, uh, I will. Thank you, Mr. Rotti. Don't worry, I'm sure that Estelle Joshua will crack this case up and be able to help your grandpa. See you later. Tita, please don't look so sad. I'm sure your grandpa is just fine. Right, since he's one of the kingdom's foremost scientific minds, I can't imagine anyone wanting to hurt him. I... You're right. He has to be okay. What's with that look? Nothing. Time's wasting. Let's go to the guild. <laughs> okay. So let's go down, 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 down. Oh yeah, I need to unlock... Oh! You have impeccable timing. Oh? It's you! Oh my! Estelle and Joshua! I haven't seen you in two... I, I haven't seen you two in some time. You're doing well, I hope. <laughs> I love vo I like voicing him. <laughs> Professor Alba, what are you doing in Zeiss? Tell me you've got an escort this time. Never mind that. We have learned the whereabouts of the criminals. This gentleman is an eyewitness. Whoa! Huh? What? Hmm, I thought that I, what I saw might be significant. Good then, I'm glad I came. Anyway, I've been doing field research on the tower up until a short time ago. You're talking about one of the Tetrasilic Towers, right? It'd have to be Carnelia Tower, not of the Plains Road. Yes, and I saw several soldiers enter the structure. I initially thought them to be members of the Royal Army, but they seem to be sticking to the shadows. And I heard them mention something about a kidnapping and escape road. I was greatly unsettled by the whole matter, so I came directly here to tell what I saw. These soldiers? What kind of uniforms were they wearing? Let me think. It was a blue and white uniform, very sharp looking. Just as one would expect from Her Majesty's native land. Even the military dresses stylishly. That's gonna be them. Come on, we have to hurry to the Carnelia Tower. Right. Acknowledge. Um... Please, take me with you. Tita. Well... Hey, Runt. Huh? There's no good reason for us to bring you along. Use that brain of yours for some common sense. But... but... Grandpa was kidnapped. I... I have to... Time is better, kid. So let me put it to you straight. You're just gonna get in the way. You stay behind. No! Hey, hold on a second. Where do you get off talking to her like that? Oh, shut it. You know I'm right. We cannot afford to pick up some amateur slack, much less a goddamn kid. W well Joshua, don't just stand there, say something. I'm sorry, but I'm with him on this. There's not a chance in the wor world that those men aren't expecting us to be on their trail. As much as I'd like to have her with us, it's just too dangerous to bring her along. Oh, come on! J Joshua! <sighs> I'm sorry, Tita, I guess we cannot take you. As Estelle? How... How can you be so mean? Tita! Wait, Estelle. Leave her be for now. The best thing we can do for her is to save her prof the professor. I know, but... I just... Today, people. Kilika, you can contact the army, right? Yes. May the fortress of war smiles upon you. It seems that something major is going on. Please, take care of yourselves. I mean, she can handle herbal gun, herbal cannon... Fine, you know? But whatever. Nice. Alright, cool. So, let me try. Oh man, Tita is not with us. Hmm, that sucks. But it's super nice to having Tita because the AoE attack, you know, and then her S break as well is super nice. But whatever. 30? Wow, that's super cheap. Alright. Uh, do you have anything else I can get? Maybe not. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some some stuff, I guess. Yeah, I guess seal. I mean, what else? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Well, hit it is then. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just put random stuff for now. Let's try again. Is this the archive? No. I think it's on the second floor. Kinda of forget all the rooms. Archives. Still. 
<laughs> so does that mean I cannot finish this? I mean, come on, come on. Where's this NPC? Where's the NPC? Oh, I have something. Okay, fine. Bam, 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 bam. Oh boy. Well, I guess there's like I have no other choice. I guess. So let's just continue for now and see. Maybe after we finish this incident, the NPC will be back. If not, then sucked. <laughs> Uh, what do I want to see? I said this section now. There we go. Uh, wait, no. This. Canelia Tower. Okay, so it's down here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna strike to the Carnelia then. I. There we go. So this is the Carnelia Tower. Are the kidnappers really holding the professor here? Yep, look at the big jumble of footprints. If you need a hiding place, this would probably be a good place for it. Look out! Hmm. So they can control this monsters then. Monsters! <laughs> As I expected. Well, will you look at that? Can just let's attack first. Let's just bra. There you go. That's so much better. All right, that's cool. What are monsters like that doing here? Oh, maybe. And uh, they're tied somehow to the man in black. It, they're tied somehow to the man in black clothes. Got it in one. They've probably been trained for combat by our little friends in black. Trained? Ever since I started checking this guy out, this guy's out, I've kind of tracked my monsters constantly. And no way that's a coincidence. I see. So that means that the checkpoint up in the mountain pass was attacked because you were there. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> It was your old man who assigned me this gig in the first place. It ain't like it's been a night at the strip club for me either. Strip club, huh? How oh, very... You. <laughs> uh, anyway, this reminds me. John mentioned something about that, right? Can you share some details? He showed up just before the whole Sky Bandit mess started and dumped it on me. Says something about some crap coming up that really couldn't wait. An easy job, he says. The old man always plays innocent. That is so very dead. <laughs> and after that last couple of run-ins with them, there's no way I'm giving anyone else the satisfaction of catching them. I especially want to get that one little bastard. Which would be whom? Never mind. Let's just arrest this guy and rescue the professor. Huh. Okay. That's uh, interesting. There it is. Ooh, that's pretty. Here they are! <laughs> Finally got you cornered! I need some water. What? Racers? Damn, kill dogs! You just won't let it go, will ya? Getting out of town using those disguises was pretty impressive, I'll admit. But your end game was pretty weak. You may not have thought anyone would actually come here, but no such luck. Now, how about you play nice and just let Professor Russell go free? In accordance with the laws of the prisoner guild, you are hereby placed under arrest. It's too bad we couldn't find a guy in that stupid mask, but I think you'll tide me over. D don't mock us! We'll cut down anyone who gets in our way! Really? Really? You really wanna do this, huh? Alright. Alright. Let's bring one down first. Rata. There we go. You gone. <clears throat> nice. Ooh. Paralyzed. Ooh. 
Pretty hurt. Pretty hurt. I'll admit that. You can't do anything, so let's deal with you then. Nice, got some little bit of heal. There you go. You cannot <laughs> just stay there. <laughs> just stay there. Just be a good just be a good boy. There you go. Stay there. <laughs> okay. And brah, there you go. Nice. Just stay there. Just just keep staying there, okay? Ah Really now. There you go. Nice, got CP again. But I'm not gonna use it. Just stay there. <laughs> Be a good boy. Wow, this it holds very long, isn't it? <laughs> the status effects is super long on this one. <laughs> it's still there. Oh wow. I like this. I like this. Alright. Alright. This should be it. Don't miss Joshua. There we go. Good. Nice. God damn prisoners. But have you forgotten about a prisoner? You guys are unbelievable. Don't you ever know when to give up? You wanted to use Professor Russell's intellect, right? Are you really willing to harm him? Sh shut up! Is that really a chance you can take? What a bunch of wiener whiners. Just admit you've lost already. The real armored forces have mobilized. There's no way for you to hide. <laughs> What's the damn funny? Oh, nothing. It's just that we had thought you competent for a second there. And so, it's almost time. What? Huh? Nesta, look up! I hear it! Of course. Of course! It's an airship! Cheaters! Shoot! This was their trump card! <laughs> now, the shoes on the other foot. Though we gladly have killed you all here, we never intended for you prisoners to get involved. If you just hold your tongues and observe, you may escape with your lives. What? Now listen, you jerk! Esther, I think we should do what they say. What are you saying? Playing things by the book here is just going to leave us open. The second they make a move with the professor, we rush them. Oh, okay. Looks like you've given up. <laughs> a wise decision on your part. Now, if you excuse us. Charge! Now! What? What? Who's the kid? Tita! Damn it, she fooled us? Let my grandma go! Oh, lads, you're gonna be in big trouble. Whoa. Don't get cocky, little brat. Uh, oh, no. Tita! Ah! Dang. I get... I get... Hey, what the heck are you doing shooting a little kid? Especially with that test model? So, sorry, I thought she was gonna take out the ship. Forget about it, not pull back, we're cutting out of here. Hey, wait a second. G Grandpa! Well, nice work, Tita. It's almost working. Dang it. Tita. Alright, for now we should return to Zeiss and regroup. We need to report into the guild about that airship. R right. Tita, I know you're hurting. Why? Why they have to take him? It's so mean. Why? Hey, Runt. Oof. Dude. She's just a kid, man. W wait a second. I told you before. You just get in the way if you follow us. You being here is what screwed up or shot as rescuing the old man. Are you planning to accept responsibility for that? I... I... I never meant... Plus, your little stun with that pea shooters won't up putting your own life at risk. Nothing gets on my nerves more than kids like you. 
Who can risk this poking run where they have no business? I'm s s so so sorry. Hey, you don't have to be so mean. Hell, her grandpa was just kidnapped. Why do you think I said all that? Hey, kid. While you're still wailing away, have a listen. Are you okay with things as they are? Are you going to accept that you cannot help your granddad just and just give up? Okay, then shape up and get some courage. You can cry and scream all you want, but first, you gotta learn to stand on your own. Learn to take care of yourself before you run off trying to rescue others. If you can't do that, then don't you ever get in our way again. You can just crawl into bed, pull the covers over you, and cry like a baby. Hell, that'd probably be the best thing for all of us. Tita? I, I'm okay, Estelle. I, I can stand up for myself. Deeds, not words. I'm really sorry. It's my fault that those men got away. Goofball, you don't have to apologize. Right, we're just glad you're all right. Thank you both. Um, Mr. Agate? What? Before you start your gripping, just remember I'm not a complaint department. Um, th thank you for saving me before. And. For cheering me up. I I wasn't trying to cheer you up. Ah, <laughs> ah. That's called discipline for a whiny brat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. He was just crying, so why are you grinning at me now? Damn crazy kid. You really ought to learn to accept someone's gratitude when it's offered. I think you just like being difficult. No, I think it's more of a matter of being him being, being shy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> well, that's actually kind of cute. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever, we should head back to the guild. It seems to me that those guys have some kind of boss who's calling the shots. I don't like it, but I think we're gonna need the military's help. Yeah, you're probably right. Best if we hurry then. Dang. I got the... I get... Oh, he's so tough, but he's right, actually. I mean, we almost, uh, we almost rescue Professor Russell, but then Tita messed it up. As much as I don't want to blame her for that, I mean, I know her position. You know, he wants to, he wants to, ah, uh, she wants to save her, her grandpa, then, but she get left behind by by all of us. You know, get a little bit betrayed by. Estelle and Joshua so therefore you know she wants to do something to try to help her grandpa but then it results in yeah it's not a good result that's that's for sure but then but dang I get <laughs> I just it hurts to see it you know to watch that it's hurt but it really is I, I don't know it's just it's just tough love you know I get it's just just tough love but yeah, I think she needs that to, you know, to learn, I guess. But the way I get show that to her, it's just, with slap, oh my god, it's just, it hurts, <laughs> you know, it hurts. <laughs> but anyway, that's that, but she's okay now, so. Yeah, plus, we, we see that I get is actually really care about her, so. Yeah, that's good, I guess. So, let's save. Over yonder. Okay, good. So I'm gonna leave this episode here for now then. Oh man. It's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. But yeah, it is what it is. But at least Tita is... At least we can see that Tita has grown a little bit stronger because of that, you know. <laughs> uh, thanks to I get, I guess. But man, it's it's really... <laughs> I get, the way I get show it's just too... It's, it's, it's too hard to see, you know. <laughs> The adorable and cute Tita just gets slapped in the face like that. And watching her grandpa taken away in right in front of her eyes as well. Just, oh man, whatever. <laughs> I'll stop rambling. But anyway, I'm gonna just leave this episode here for now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having fun together with me. Spread love, spread the fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!